Okay, so here's an example about when not to round. Um, I'm going to work it out twice. The first time, I'm actually going to make a mistake. I'm going to use the right equations, but I'll get the wrong answer due to rounding early. So let's watch carefully and first start by reading the question. You wish to estimate the area of a rectangular field of length L and width W. To estimate distances, you drive a tractor at a known speed uh, of 5.15 uh, meters per second along the edges of the field. It takes you a time of 26.3 seconds to travel the length of the field and then 10.3 seconds to travel the width. What is the area? Okay, so we can draw uh, a rectangle there. Uh, the V is 5.15 uh, meters per second. Let's draw the length as being the longer one uh, because the time, which I'll call let's, T1, is 26.3 seconds. That's greater than, here's the width, uh, the time to travel the width is T2 is 10.3 seconds, so that's going to be uh, shorter. Um, and the area equation for a rectangle is length times width, so we'll call that A is L times W. And note that all the input numbers are three significant figures, so your, uh, your final answer should be rounded to three significant figures. So, um, actually, I'll start by using equation 2.6 for average velocity, delta x over t. But here we want to solve for the distance. We have the, um, have the speed and we have the time. So uh, delta x is uh, the speed times the time. But in our case, the two lengths are l, which is that speed times t1, and w, which is that speed times t2. So those are our equations. We'll just work it out. Uh, L is uh, 5.15 meters per second times 26.3 seconds. Seconds cancel. You get, uh, on my calculator, 135.445 meters. Uh, round that to, to three significant figures, 135 meters. And then the width is, again, 5.15 meters per second times 10.3 seconds. Seconds cancel. You get 53.045 on my calculator, round that to 53.0 meters, that's three significant figures. Our equation for area is length times width, 135 meters times 53.0 meters. Uh, you get 7155, and the units are meters squared. You can round that to uh, three significant figures, and it's 7160, 7160 meters squared. Well, that turns out to be wrong. It does not match the answer at the back of the book. I've done something wrong. And it looks a little short by 20 meters squared. So let's, uh, let's look at what I've done up here. Um, it turns out the mistake was rounding uh, early. So that 135, the rule is don't round intermediate calculations. The proper length really was 135.445 meters. And the proper width really was 53.045 meters. So you have to uh, keep all those numbers, or at least, I would always keep at least five significant figures. And when you multiply those out, uh, you get 7184.68 meters squared, which, when you round to three significant figures, gives you 7180 meters squared. And that is correct. That's the answer that's in the back of the book. And so note that that's different. Uh, than we got before 7160. So moral of the story is uh, don't round your intermediate calculations. Wait till you have a final answer and then then round it off to the right number of significant figures.